Mizoram Chief Minister Zoram Thanga on Friday said that the state government cannot directly interfere in the internal affairs of the neighboring Manipur on the issue of Greater Mizoram or unification of Mizoram's contiguous area in Manipur with the state. The hill area of Manipur adjoining Mizoram is inhabited by Zo community who shares the same culture, religion, tradition and ancestry. Zoram Thanga while addressing the ruling Mizo National Front workers at Nam Ran MNF party office in Aizol said that initiatives should come from our kindred brothers in Manipur as the issue of the unification of Kukichin Mizo tribe should not be imposed. He said that while the state government cannot directly interfere in the internal affairs of the neighboring state, which was recently rocked by violence, he had spoken to the Union Minister Amit Shah and his Manipur counterpart N. Biren Singh. We have tried our best to bring peace and tranquility in Manipur, as well as looking after internally displaced people in Manipur, taking shelter in the state and evacuation of stranded people from the neighboring state. The MNF president said that unification of all the contiguous areas inhabited by Zo tribes has been one of the main objectives of founding leaders of the party. While unification of Zo tribe inhabited areas in foreign countries, Myanmar and Bangladesh would be difficult at this time. Unification of the ethnic Mizos areas living in Indian states of Manipur, Assam and Tripura has been propounded by MNF all the time. The issue of unification of all the inhabited areas of our kindred brothers in neighboring states highly featured in the peace talks held with the Indian government and the erstwhile underground MNF, he said. Zoram Thanga statement came close on the heels of the demand made by 10 elected Zo legislature of Manipur and the indigenous tribal leaders forum for separate administration of hill areas from the Manipur state government. The representatives of Kukichi Mizo tribal leaders in Manipur mulled on separate administration of the hill tribes and talked about Indian territory of Greater Mizoram. Uh, this is all a fallout. This actually is a fallout of the recent violence in Manipur where the divide between uh, the hills and the valley, to be more particular, between the cookies or uh, the cookie chain group and as well as the metis have widened, definitely widened. No one can deny that fact. Although, of course, there are efforts at restoring peace and bridging the divide and breaching the breach of trust that has taken place. Uh, I think efforts are on, but no one can deny the fact that there has been uh, a, a real divide between the cookie chain group as well as the Métis after the violence that triggered on 3rd of May. Now, this statement from the Mizoram chief minister, who is also the leader of the Mizoram National Front, he said that this has been the original demand of the Mizos, uh, the, or, or for that matter, the original demand of the MNF. Uh, to bring about a unification of the Joe inhabited areas uh, in uh, around in and around Mizoram. In fact, uh, the Joe com Joe community, uh, which which is a, which is a group, and uh, they also live in the they are a part of the Kukich in group. Uh, so this is uh, the same stock, you know, same ethnic stock. They speak the same language. They are culturally similar. They are religiously similar. So that is the reason why uh, there has been this original uh, demand by the Mizoram National Front that there has to be a unification of the Zo-dominated areas in much the same way as the Nagas have, uh, have been demanding that uh, Nagas uh, in the northeast should come under one administrative umbrella. Right. That has been initially the demand of the NSNIM. So on that line, the MNF uh, chief, the MNF leader and the Mizoram chief minister has said that there has there, 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 the demand for a Zo unification must come from the Zo brothers themselves. That's what the, the term he used. And he said that the state government cannot directly uh, push that kind of a demand, and the state government was rather uh, trying to bring about peace and giving shelter to the displaced people. But this is indeed definitely, Ronak, a very big uh, statement from the MNF leader, and uh, we have to wait and watch whether there will be a fresh, there will be actually a organized movement by the Zo community demanding a reunification of Zo inhabited areas and the coming together of the Zo's 
in the uh, in the Mizoram, Assam, and uh, and and Manipur under one administrative ruler, whether whether this kind of a demand uh, is channelized into a movement, we have to wait and watch. But this statement coming from Mizoram Chief Minister is indeed a fallout of the recent violence in Manipur. Well, you you see, this is definitely a very very big statement, and that has come from from a person who is the chief minister of a neighboring state. He is the leader of the Mizoram National Front, one of the one of the prominent regional political parties. Uh, in the northeastern region that has a historic past. Uh, coming from a man of the lead political leader of the stature of Mr. Joram Thanga, it means a lot. Uh, I, and, and that is the reason why I said we have to wait and watch whether the statement of the chief minister will trigger a movement from among the Zo civil society or the Zo organizations uh, uh, for a unification. Yes, but but this will not be taken kindly uh, at all by the dispensation in uh, Manipur, or for that matter, the majority Métis community in Manipur, who have made it very clear that there has maybe a difference of opinion, there may be some clashes, but they would not like uh, any dismemberment of, of, of Manipur. They would not like a single inch of the Manipur territory to be given away uh, to any of the neighboring states. That has been the stand of the both the Manipur government as well as the Métis civil society and individuals. Right. Uh, so in, in this backdrop, uh, we have to wait and watch how things unfold in the coming days. But certainly, this uh, the, this demand for the unification, possible unification of the zoo dominated areas has come uh, uh, after the 10 Kukichin MLAs, including seven of, of whom are BJP MLAs belonging to the ruling party in Manipur. They have demanded a separate administration uh, for the Kukichin Kuki group. So, the, of course, they have not clarified what kind of a separate administration they are uh, uh, talking about. That is absolutely vague and not clear. But they have made this demand and they have circulated this demand widely uh, within the media and outside. Bureau Report, Reporter Agnan News.